Hi, I'm Julia Mack, and I'd like to welcome you to my new house. It's actually not a new house. It's 160 years old, and I'd love to have you take a peek inside. Here we are on the ground floor space of this house. This is where the income of this house lies, and this is really where there's a minimal amount of design that's going to be happening because we're going to have a tenant living here. There's going to be a front bedroom. There's an existing back kitchen, which is actually in great shape. This middle space is going to be a family room. This is the parlor floor. One thing that makes this floor unique is the ceilings are very tall and the windows are going to look really great when we extend them down. It's important because the proportions of this space really need those big windows. In the middle space, there's an existing fireplace. Instead of being long and linear, it's going to come down long and low. One of the things about this parlor floor, it has way too many walls up right now. What we want to do is extend from the living room into our dining space. And one of the things we can do is take this wall down, which is the one that leads to the entry hallway and to the stair. So this is the entry vestibule, and the most important thing here is that the walls are coming down, and that'll give you a nice view from the living room space to the stair hall. One of the things about the stair hall that is amazing is this really beautiful mule post. The entire stair is in really great condition, so we're looking forward to using this. This is a back room, and what this space is going to be is the kitchen, and uh, once all these walls are taken down, there's going to be a large counter that is right over here. It's going to be freestanding and rectangular, and behind me is going to be a U-shaped kitchen. Here we are on the second floor, and we're going to do bedrooms in the back and bedrooms in the front. The back bedrooms have two windows, and the front bedrooms has three windows. There's going to be a closet in the middle, and what we're going to do is center plumbing, which means that the bathrooms will not have a window, but they will be in nice size. So this is the front bedroom, and one of the greatest things about this room is that it's going to have three windows across once we take down this wall, and it's not going to have a closet right here, and it's going to really extend the volume of this space. So here we are in this top floor space, and um, everything's going. This entire wall is coming down, and once that happens, what we're going to get is a great view of the stair hall. The stair hall has this enormous skylight, and so we'll be getting a lot of natural light. Once we take out these walls, it's really going to extend the space.